And today I'm at the Museum of Science and Industry in Chicago checking out the Wire to Wear exhibit that just opened up here. This is the first ever exhibit fully dedicated to wearable tech and I'm about to experience it for myself so let's check it out. So I'm going to walk around and see what we got going on here. I've seen these before, the Back to the Future, Nikes. I think it's cool. The people should know more about wearable tech. This dress is catching my attention, so I'm gonna see what it's about. This is the Marlene dress, and I just love seeing this because it's like, it's blending tech and fashion. Like, it looks cool, but it's got tech in it. That's awesome. I would, I would actually wear that. It's so pretty, I just keep staring at it. What else, what else? I see some more dresses over there. I promise I'll look at more things that are not just dresses. So these are a bunch of the latest prosthetics, prosthetic cans. I see legs. I've seen this one before. This one actually shoots glitter at you, which is really cool. The glitter cannon prosthetic arm. How crazy is that? And it's purple. I mean, I'm all about that. Do you want to tell me like a little more about it, like your inspiration behind it? Oh, well, um, I made it uh, in a workshop that I was invited to. And so cool. I've been prototyping it uh, to make it to what it is today. Turned what I made into an opportunity for other kids with differences to um, build off of their difference and make something fun or helpful, whatever they want to make, and just have fun. That's so awesome. Like I said, a lot of the stuff I've definitely have never seen before, so I'm just going along with you guys. What is this? It's a bio suit? Oh, provide astronaut explorers with maximum mobility. So it's like a new astronaut suit. It's so crazy because it's so it's so thin. Like how how does that hold up in outer space? I didn't know it was like for astronauts. Now I want to be an astronaut. Forget YouTube. I'm just gonna be an astronaut. And here is the crazy looking jet suit that I actually saw earlier today. So they demoed it flying outside. Honestly, like that was insane to see. Like I've, I've never seen anything like that. It looks like it's like from a video game or something because it, it literally just picks you up in the air and flies you around. It's a jet suit. Yeah, imagine in the future if we all just like went around in jet suits instead of having to drive or like Oh, it goes top speed of 32 miles per hour. Yeah, it's like riding around like an electric bike or something. Basically, I mean, when you think about wearable tech and the future, you think, of, at least I do, I think of like flying, and this is, this makes you fly. Very Iron Man looking, especially because inside the helmet of the suit, there's actually a display where you can read your speed. It'll tell you the fuel consumption, also flight data. Just picture in the future everybody flying in jet suits. Stress dress. Oh, there's so much like clothes and like, okay, so this is like more like athletic wear, but this, apparently this caught Beyonce's attention. Oh, this thing looks cool. The iridescence. It has a bunch of color panels that shift according to your mood. Little LED backpacks. Whoa, I should do a tech, what's in my tech bag with one of these. You can design your own artwork with like the LED lights on the back. That's so cool. This is like a lie detector dress. You can go ahead, let's see if it, if it lights up. Yes. Oh. Are you the creator uh, of? I'm Paul, yes. Paul, nice to meet you, I'm Crystal. Hi, Crystal, yes, yes. Can you tell me more about the sure, set too? Sure. Wow. And is it just? Literally, okay. like a sticker that's So really, on? it is. It, this is totally a sticker. I'm making the music. I'm going to just walk through it. <laughs> I'm like swimming through strings. Imagine in the future there's like closets made with this. So you can just like walk through your closet through a curtain of sound. <laughs> okay, I'm kind of stuck. So now we are by the Jacquard by Google denim jacket. So the jacket is basically a biking jacket and yeah, you can actually buy this. Like there's still, it's out on retail and you can get one for yourself. The jacket is a commuter jacket, perfect for people who ride their bikes. Yeah, you can control your phone from it. You can skip music with it. You can listen to messages from it, take phone calls and they're adding more and more tech into it so it can control even more things and do even more actions. 
but right now it's a really cool thing to check out. And I'm also, I'm just mostly amazed at how, I mean, it just looks like a regular jacket. Like you wouldn't think that it has anything in it just by like first glance. So now I am in the part of the exhibit called The Latest Lab. And if you come and visit, you can actually come in here and design your own mood board. There's also the materials that you can use for it. So yeah, you can actually come in here and just get inspired by everything that you're watching to make your own type of wearable. So that was the Wired to Wear exhibit and you guys can actually check it out for yourselves because it's open up to the public. So just follow that link in the description to get all the details on it. But let me know what you guys think of it so far. I think it was amazing and my mind was blown, like especially that jet suit, that was, that was crazy. <laughs> Overall, I feel like I got a glimpse into the future. It's really cool to see where wearable tech is at and where it's headed. So yeah, like I said, let me know in the comments below. What do you think was the coolest? Are you guys gonna check it out? Let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you later.